Are you ready for a darker tone video? This is bad news relating my portfolio and also I'm running out of sunlight. This is why this video has this darker tone, but hopefully the acoustic is better on this video because I'm in a better room. Uh, overall, actually, I'm in the office, it's the Sunday, but nonetheless, I'm taking this time to make this YouTube video because I promised in the last episode of my public investment series that I would do this. And here I am. I have my trading 212 uh, portfolio here. I'm just gonna open the app and show you that, okay, the portfolio today is worth 677 euros and I invested in total 720 euros. So we are down 6%, bad news. So we can see here the distribution. We can see here really quickly, Alibaba, it's up, a Chinese stock, Google is down, Amazon is down, Farfetch is down, Intel is down, even the ETFs, which are broad uh, baskets of stocks are down, JD.com is up, uh, Meta Platform is down, Chinese stock is, is up, Taiwan Semiconductors, this was like done like a couple of hours ago or actually uh, two days ago, Tencent is up. So let's see the allocation. So this is how my portfolio is looking like after one year. We have 12 investments in total. The bulk of it is in ETFs and the rest is concentrated in individual stocks. The main two ones are Google and Meta platforms and we have Intel and the other ones are distributed as you can see here on the screen. So the question remains and Okay, we are down, but what if I had invested in just an ETF mimicking the S&P 500? How would we have performed? And I kind of just did this to make things simple. I just put like $60 at the beginning of each month and I saw the, the prices and I put there like in an Excel spreadsheet and the portfolio would be worth more or less 635 euros. Of course, there were some months that I invested less and some months that I invested more, but I feel like I don't want to go through this because we are already beating the market anyway, and we are all losing in this kind of situation. Also, if you want to be super specific, I invested in euros and I did this for US dollars, but the euro was worth more than the US dollar. So by me investing in the stocks that are denominated in US dollars, I'm actually gaining some purchasing power. Nonetheless, we are beating the market, but we are still down. So if I hadn't do, done a single thing in this year, I would be better off. But this is a long-term portfolio, so I hope these decisions will pay off in the future. And remember, this is not financial advice. I do me, you do you, do, always do your own research and don't trust this random YouTube guy uh, here. And this applies for every single person. Also, I want to take this opportunity to showcase uh, what I'm going to do next year for this public investment portfolio series. I don't know if I'm going to put the... I'm, I'm going to keep updating this because I think this is kind of fun, makes me more uh, committed to this. Um, and uh, I will be uh, doubling down on my investments. So I started this year with 60 euros per month, but I'll, in 2023, I'll be investing 120 euros per month. The portfolio is now is on the second year. As you get older through life, you will have your, your career is gonna increase. And I feel like I should contribute more because I'm expecting some downturns. And this is like the accumulation phase. When you're in your 20s, this is like the best opportunity to start building and then you will benefit from the compounding effect in future years. If you are more curious about this, you can watch my uh, videos on how to dollar cost average and the road to millionaire. I have those videos in the description down below or you can search like in my YouTube channel in general. So there are, those are the main updates uh, for now. Uh, I know a lot of people don't follow this series, but I'll try to commit it uh, like I did this uh, year, every single month, at least one video, one update. I don't know how many vlog series are coming. Also, on other public portfolios, I might not be investing as much because I might prioritize other things. Maybe I'll have some travel plans. Maybe I'll want to buy other things. And everyone needs to do this kind of management because investing is all about making your life better. And if you're over assessing for the future, that's never going to be a good idea. That's it for me today. I hope I can see you before Christmas. I still plan to upload one video before Christmas, the Golden Santia Initiative. And I see you in the next time. Bye.